There's one more topic we need to talk about, and that's congruency in polygons. When polygons are considered equilateral, it's a polygon where all sides are congruent. So if I have a polygon and I mark every single side congruent with my tick marks, this is an equilateral polygon. Equiangular, notice our angular, is a polygon where all angles are congruent. So if I have a polygon and all angles are marked congruent, it's equal angular. A regular polygon is one that is both equilateral, so all sides are congruent, and equiangular, where all angles are congruent. For example, I can mark all angles and all sides congruent, then it is regular. You must be explicitly told either through congruency marks, so these tick marks are the um, arcs on angles, or through the measures, so being given the fact that every side of a square is 6 would tell you that all sides are congruent. But you must be explicitly told in your drawing in some way that it is either equal, equilateral or equiangular. You cannot just assume based on appearance. So let's work on example 4. Classify each polygon by its number of sides, then tell if it's equilateral, equiangular, regular, or none of the above. Try this one on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check the solution. Okay, let's start with this rectangle up top. It's four sides, so it is a quadrilateral. Notice all my angles are marked as right angles, so it is equiangular. But I have two 10 sides and two 20, so it's not equilateral. It's a quadrilateral that is equiangular. Okay, let's move to the cross. Notice every side is marked 7. So I do have an equilateral figure here. But not all the angles are right angles. I have these big angles in the middle here that are actually 270 degrees. Notice it doesn't matter that the outside is a right angle. We're concerned with the angles on the inside. The cross is also a 12-sided figure. So it's a dodecagon and it is equilateral because its sides are congruent. Okay, how about this triangle? Each angle is marked as 60 degrees, so all of my angles are congruent. All of my sides are marked congruent with these tick marks. And since it's three sides, it is a triangle. It is both equilateral and equiangular, which means it's regular. We have a regular triangle. Okay, our figure in the middle. We're told each side is 10, which means all of these sides are congruent. This makes it equilateral. The arcs here, the single arcs, tell us that all the angles are congruent, so it's equiangular. If it's both, then it is a regular figure. And since it's five-sided, it is a pentagon. Okay, let's look at the upper right. Notice these two angles have double arcs whereas these angles have a single arc with a dash through it. So not all four angles are congruent. This is not an equiangular figure. But all of the sides have double tick marks. So all the sides are congruent. It is equilateral. And it's four-sided, so it is a quadrilateral. It is an equilateral quadrilateral. Lastly, we have a six-sided figure here. We have a hexagon. None of the sides are marked with lengths, so I'm not going to assume that they are congruent. I do have angles that are marked as right angles. However, at this vertex, we have a larger than right angle. We have a 270 degree angle. So this hexagon is neither, well, is none of the above. It's not equilateral. It's not equiangular which means it is definitely not regular. <clears throat> Hopefully you got all of those. If not, go back and review your definitions. And that concludes section 1.6.